Boop, boop, me. Hello, guys. This is Pepperdirt again. Uh, last time I said I was going to go through my alarm clock uh, script. However, I don't think that's very practical. Um, I'm actually going to give you a new script. We're going to, you know, work it from the uh, ground up. And you'll be able to follow follow uh, along at home as well. So, uh, what it will do is it's a basic script that goes through a folder and sorts out the folder uh, by its extension. So it'll make a folder for every extension. Dot txt bat uh, bat text bat. Yeah, that's all I got in here, huh? Oh, docx. Um pretty simple uh, but it's a it's a pretty good example you know get your feet wet DOS scripting and with this knowledge you'll be able to you know make about what you would want anyway well what I'm saying good starter good starter let's uh, get started here uh, for those of you that might not know how to open a command prompt all programs accessories command prompt and for let's see check out CD would be change directory so I'm going to actually make a directory alright my directory right here is batch test but I want to make one make directory make dir mkdir uh, test alright now if I say dir command, the dir command just brings up your directory. Uh, any command you want help on, you just type in help. Uh, you can see all your commands. And if you want specific command information, like on dir, <clears throat> sorry, uh, dir, that's here somewhere. There you go. Uh, displays list files, dir slash question mark. And that'll bring you up all this. Um, I, we will actually use this in the script. So there'll be a little bit of explanation on that in a little bit. Okay, so we want to cd into our, uh, I named it test, directory. Now, anytime you make a script that edits, uh, files, moves, copies, you want to have a test directory so that you test everything that happens before you actually put it into implementation implementation implement it uh, this being you know you don't want to mess up your originals in case they were important so uh, let's make our script an echo command echoes whatever you echo so echo dot you know test echoes test echo can also be used uh, to create a file if I echo that same test and then hit uh, what do you call that greater less than greater than sign and make a file name uh, file dot text now if we use the DRR command we got a file there and one way to find the contents of a file you type type uh, file dot text and that's the contents of uh, your file. We can echo more into it, uh, more text, text, into file.txt. Now important, uh, if you don't want to overwrite what was right here in the file, then you put a double greater than, and uh, it'll just append. Now if we type uh, file.txt, we got test and more text very cool and it of course if we echoed more with one k greater than uh, hello hello yeah that's not how to spell hello let's go with it uh, no I'm sorry hello and then uh, file uh, file that bah. right so you see the difference now the contents of that file is hello 
Uh, let's let's move on. I'm taking too long here. All right, let's uh, make our script. Let's uh, name it uh, uh, tidy. Nah, uh, yeah, tidy directory dot back. You can name it whatever you want. That's just what I wanted to name it for this example. Uh, all right, let's open it. Notepad. Uh, you can use any editor really. I would strongly suggest Notepad though. Uh, another tip: if you start out with a name, TID, press tab, fills it in. Uh, simple as that. You can play with that some. All right, we got our text file. Now, basically, any command help you see here, you can put it in a text file and streamline it. Uh, this is the uh, I don't know if I could say basics of programming, but uh, hmm, let's just call it scripting. Script is uh, just read from top to bottom. You'll have go-to's and what uh, for your conditions, but really just top to bottom. That's all you gotta concern yourself with. Now at the top, uh, you'll usually a comment. Uh, I usually use double. What do you call these? Colons? Colons. Um, I would just suggest double colons. It's a good practice. You could type REM, but uh, why do that when you can just do that? Alright, name a file, or who created it? Creator. Uh, this would be Pepperder. Um, created when? Uh, what? 10, 17, 16, 2, 2012. Alright. And then a description. Description. I'm not going to be too worried if I spell stuff wrong here. Uh, oh, geez. What's it do? We're going to have it... Uh, tidy a directory. Right. Searches dir and makes folders for uh, every extension. Now, usually you'd make a nicer description because I'm not sure if you can tell what this program will do, even with that. But moving on. Now our first line is echo off. Now this uh, within a script. This might be better better explained later. But within a script, uh, it's always echoed on. Echo is on, which means standard out will be while your script runs. Your script's uh, let's call it output will be displayed on your command line. Uh, doesn't really mean a lot to you right now, but the at, moving on, the at sign tells this uh, command not to echo. Uh, you can use that for sets as well. Uh, not really important. Let's skip that for well. Aye. I just explained it. How about that? Uh, blah, blah. What do we want to do? We want to... First off, what is in the directory? So we do a dir command. Uh, slash b slash a d. And we want to pipe that to a file. Uh, let's name it dir. Now, when you're making temporary files inside your script, it's a good idea just to replace uh, whatever your file that you want to create with all the vowels with a uh, hashtag hash marks um, basically you won't have another file named D number sign R likely and uh, you know it just tells you this is a file that 
you know, can be deleted, temporary. All right. And later we're going to clean this up so our script doesn't leave behind junk. So, in fact, uh, I'm going to copy. This is another, I'm going to move really fast here. So, uh, if you don't follow along, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm explaining everything as I go, but, you know, ask questions if you want, comments, PM. But, copy, uh, this is a wildcard, star dot star. That means basically anything in this folder, it's going to copy and move it to test. Say, copied all of my files. So, cd test. And this script is in here as well. So, if I did a dir command, everything's here. And you can actually type this command, dir slash b, dir slash b, just uh, gives you all these files. And if I had a directory, then it would give me that too, uh, directory. Now, this directory is here. But if I said dir slash b slash ad, ooh, sorry not oh a dash not d okay the dash a is just a special flag or switch and the dash is a prefix meaning not and the d directory so obviously that command would be uh, display the directories in a bare format with uh, out without the directory the directories so we got all that without the, that directory right right okay uh, let's remove that because I don't need it now it's gone okay back to our script so like I said anything I type here you could probably bring it over here and I'll show you examples of where that might not work so we got our file now we want to look into that file so dir slash f uh, slash f is just for uh, extra uh, to look in a file also you can't you have to use dash f if you want to use uh, tokens equals two and elims equals dot now uh, again if you want to know what for does uh, for uh, slash question mark right and down here oh geez where'd you go uh, figure out he even gives you an example for dash f ul uh, geez I'll explain this here uh, tokens just means well maybe I can't explain tokens tokens hmm yeah I'll just show you here so my file Ooh, where's my temporary file I don't have one okay D slash B Sorry guys, I'm uh, I didn't exactly make a script for this one. Uh, script meaning what I'm saying. <laughs> file f file. At least do what I'm talking about. Uh, now type type. Okay. Ha! <sighs> All right. So this what this says is there is two tokens. And I told it that there was two. Uh, that just means there's two pieces. Well, that doesn't even mean there's two. That means there's at least two uh, pieces delimitized by this period. Uh, yeah, that's confusing. Uh, so basically, there is one period right here. And this would be the token number one. This would be token number two, right? So, 
if my delimiter is this dot sign or this period and there's two to and uh, I want to grab the second token it will always grab anything after this period so dot text dot bat dot text 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 doc all right this is actually going to bring out all the extensions in our directories uh, which is what we will use to sort uh, these files in the directory uh, the basis of our tidy uh, script okay enough explaining what, what do I do next uh, 4-f percent uh, the percent v is just a variable and inside a script you actually have to do a double percent because uh, it's interpreted uh, it tries to interpret the percent sign and when it realizes there's two percent signs then it'll leave it if not it'll try to interpret it as a variable and it won't find one well uh, I can't really explain that much more if you want more explanation you really just gonna have to play with it uh, in Fi uh what's my file name? Durr. Uh do this is just stuff that you always have to have in your for statement. For dash f your tokens, delims, well you don't have to have that. And then your variable in file or whatever you're looking at, do, and then you can write your command. Now, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I'll sh show you what happens. Yeah. Later, I'll show you why this line is a bad thing. All right. For now, I'll just uh, show you the way that works. Do set. We're going to set a variable so that we can use it later. Um use it later so that we can sort our directories basically we're extracting the extension do set uh, extension extension yeah, let's just make it small extension and let's make it smaller too ext equals oh yeah percent v and all that does is it'll open up file.txt or dir, sorry. And every time it finds a line with, or if it doesn't, dot txt or dot, it will take whatever precedes it and set it equal to ext. All right. However, the thing is, it'll do that over and over and over. It'll name it bat text 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 bat pdf till it gets to the bottom txt. And then our extension will be named dot txt or txt without the dot. All right. So now, oh, I'm sorry. We won't. Well, we'll do that later. We got txt. So what do we need to do with that? Okay. We search the directory, and now we need to make a folder for that extension. So we say. Uh, good pro coding practice is to well check uh, if check conditions before you do you know whatever you need to do so my condition is if there's a folder that exists that's name is uh, if exists if not exists uh, let's see sorry ext Oh yeah. If not exists ext, then create mkdir, which is make directory. Uh, I'm gonna try to use all uppercase when using commands for your convenience. Uh, make directory. We're gonna do an underscore and then ext. In effect, that will say it'll make a directory name underscore dot txt alright and oh man 
Another thing to note when making a DOS script, it does matter your white space. You know, whether I lift it like this or lift it like that. The confusing part is uh, it matters what command you put in there, too. So if I was to put a set command inside here, then I would have to... No, I would leave it. But if I was to use a go to command, I would have... I think I would have to put a space there. Anyhow, that's just one fun thing that you're going to have to... Or that you'll experience if you're scripting in DOS. Uh, just something to look forward to. Now... Now we're creating the folder. And we want to then put all of our files that match the extension into this folder. So then we just say a simple move star dot extension. Uh, and also, you know how I said it expands whatever's in the variable. This is our variable. And if we want to expand that variable, I'll demonstrate. Set variable variable equal to hello oh, that W again world alright now if we echo variable variable we just echoed variable right however if you enclose it in a percent sign it'll actually expand whatever we placed in it right so in our script this should be dot txt or I mean txt without the dot so we say move star which is anything as we learned while we were copying all this dot and then our extension and we want to move that to uh, underscore txt or underscore text now our condition we want to make this a loop um, do we want the dir in there oh yeah we want to set extension well I'll do all this sorry guys I'm thinking to myself here first off we want to make a loop and go to loop now yeah, let's make that yeah, I really, it does not matter uh, the case in this. However, sometimes it does matter. Confusing. But in a label, it doesn't. Alright? And, of course, your commands, it can be uppercase, lowercase, DOS doesn't care. Alright, so... Yes, we want this in our loop. What will happen, we also want to say... Set extension equal to nothing enter okay reason being it'll go in our loop it'll set extension to nothing all right and then it'll uh, get our directory and then it'll look in the directory and find whatever extension it finds it'll then if uh, well this will likely work because you're not probably going to have a directory name dot or underscore txt uh, make directory you know we'll make a directory and then we will place all of those into that directory and then it'll go to go to our loop and do it again set ext uh, do the dir and now this time when it does the dir there will be no txts because they will all be have moved to a directory so then our next file would be a dot bat all right and the problem with that is it'll actually say okay let's move the dot bat into underscore bat and then our script which is in this directory is gone uh, our script will effectively stop before it picks up anything else. Bad. Uh, this, of course, you would have noticed if you had tested it right here. And this is also in an in infinite loop. So, 
let's work on stopping this infinite loop. Uh, an infinite loop, you could figure it out if you just run this. And then uh, I would really suggest you use uh, control CTRL plus C. Don't type that out, just push control on your keypad and C. Uh, same as copying. Uh, this will stop any script that you've made, you know, infinite loop wise, or any script at all. Alright, to stop this infinite loop though, uh, let's see here. We would say after this ext, if uh, defined, this is another special case. Um, the define says if extension ext, if extension is defined, then go to go to um, where does it want to go to next? Uh, next. And I think I do want to leave a space after that because bad things might or might not happen. Else, else, uh, go to, wait a second. That would be a perfect time to just say, go to EOF. End of file. And end of file can be way down here. All right? So if defined, go. Oh if not defined so basically if this went through this file and did not set this once then it won't be defined basically it's a, this set it to nothing and if this doesn't set it to something then it'll exit go to EF and if it doesn't go to EF it'll just go down here so like I said streamline it just goes down 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 Go to loop, go to loop, go to loop, go to loop, right? If not exist, extension, make dir extension. Okay, we got it to stop the endless loop. Now, uh, what was I going to do here? Oh, yes. Now we got to make sure that it doesn't take away our batch file before it's done. So, we just put a condition here. If, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Percent %v equals uh, bat uh, I guess I gotta put a not in there again if it does not equal dot bat then we wanna set it ah uh, geez I don't remember I don't remember yeah we wanna keep that like that so what this does, if not percent %v equals our bat file, then set it. So it'll go through all this and it'll never set it to bat. Alright? So of course, uh, we can't let it go to EOF yet. Because we need to say, uh, let's see what, find bats. All right, find bats. So this time we'll actually find those bat files and throw them into their own folder. And we can just copy this line, like so. Um, what are we gonna do now? So we find, oh, we just take out this. Do set to extension. Okay, um, same line. If not defined, then go to EUF. And also, um, when you're programming, you usually want to use spaces and such uh, so it looks cleaner. Um, honestly, I don't know what kind of spaces you can use. Oh geez, don't want to do that. Uh, when making a DOS script, uh, really, I just haven't wanted. Really, I just don't want to play with it. See, I already know that spaces make a difference, uh, and if you don't put these spaces in, your script will crash, or 
do what you don't want it to. So you're going to have to pay careful attention where you put spaces. Uh, enough on that. If it's not defined, go to EOF. But if we got dot bats, then we got to do the same. If not, oh, that's not it. We got to do the same. If exists, then make the directory and then move all dot bats to that directory. And then it'll just go to EOF. In which case, we'll just print out a done and say pause all right um you know i think i explained everything and i think this will work uh let's see go to oh yes yes we're going to also ask the user first before doing anything that is also really good practice when moving editing anything ask the user are you sure you want to do that echo are you sure you want to tidy that's uh tidy you know it's special up this directory question mark is efficient um let's do a blank line and then say y e s echo in o um okay okay this is just setting up a dialogue telling the user what to do and so as you can see echo are you sure you want to tidy up this directory and this is saying type y just y if you want to do if you want to uh, tidy the directory type in if you don't want to do the directory but I'll show you what our script actually does and actually how to s how to get input from the user you would say set dash p um, I didn't really look up what p means really but answer and that's just a variable equals and enter this will actually pause the program and wait for the user to enter something and after the user enters it you say if uh, answer equals and I'm just so your script doesn't crash put these in it uh, just take my word for it I'll explain if you really want well I'll explain now it tells if the user didn't input anything then the script would crash because there's nothing on this side and that's a broken statement you don't want to code broken statements um, if yes then go to loop loop alright and then this is actually case sensitive so we're gonna put two answers in here if lo lowercase is that a lowercase? Wow. yeah if lowercase y go to loop as well so so this will actually this actually doesn't care if the user types in in or anything else all it cares about is if you type in y y or y uh, oh I'm sorry and if it goes if it if they don't type in Y and it doesn't go to loop then we'll just have a default go to uh, EOF and that'll end the program and we should put a statement like you didn't want to tidy up huh. alright it's done I think let's uh, test it out Okay, uh, first off, is it in there? Here, start up at tidy, tidy, tidy directory. All right, this is what's in our directory. Let's type in tidy, tidy directory. Oh, see, just like I said, are you sure you want to tidy? Say yes. Done.
Curious. Durr. And it did not do anything. Curious. Weird. Okay. Oh, and check it out. Nothing is in there. Very curious. Oh, whoa. Calm down. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I closed it. Sorry. Uh, where is it? Tidy. Okay. So, what happened? I... What happened? Press anything to continue. Done. Go to loop. Set extension. Dir slash. Oh. See, I just messed up. Uh, we don't want to include directories. What this just said was print all directories, and I had zero directories in here, uh, despite the dot dot and dot. Um, yeah, I'm not going to explain that. So let's try that one more time. Oh, oh, oh. And see this file? We did not clean that up. Let's uh, do that right now. Right now. Okay, after EOF, we need to delete DL our temporary file. Temporary file. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? DIR. It's good to copy those because sometimes you might spell them differently. Okay, I'll try not to do that. These are. And it deletes it. Okay, let's try that tidy up again. Yes. Uh oh. I think it worked. Uh, except it did not delete that. Funny. Yeah. Did it again. Go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Basically, this uh, script is a success. I hope you are following along, and I hope you uh, learned something here. That script is no longer here. It's in slash bat. Bat. So, uh, wow. Exciting. And I'm sure you can delete that file or figure out what I did wrong. Uh, wow. This has probably been a very long segment. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is Pepper Dirt uh, signing off. God bless you guys. Have a good one. Boop.